Well, November is right around the corner. November happens to be Children's Grief Awareness Month across America. A local nonprofit has been working hard to provide a safe space for kids and their families to grieve. That would be the Dougie Center. They have multiple locations across the area. Their primary spot is based out in southeast Portland, but now they need your help keeping the facility fully staffed so they can continue on with their important mission. So joining us in studio to tell us more about the Dougie Center and their need for volunteers right now is Executive Director Brennan Wood. Good morning. Good morning. So appreciate you taking the time to be here and to talk about this. Very um, happy to be here. Yeah, I'm glad. So we, we touched briefly there on what the Dougie Center is all about, but really dive into what the Dougie Center does and why these volunteers are so critical to what the Dougie Center does. Absolutely. So we provide a safe place for children and families who are grieving before and after a death. We do that through direct peer support program where kids are placed into groups based on their age and who died in their life and often even how they died so that kids can really come together to support one another when hard things happen. And although each group is run by a Dougie Center staff person who has at least a master's level education in a social service field, the majority of the adults who work directly with kids are trained volunteers. Having that peer-to-peer -peer connection with volunteers who many times can understand exactly you know what some of these kids are going through and what they're dealing with how important is that uh, to, to create this safe space where someone can start to heal it's critical and I think that the kids coming together is so important but I will share that I went to the Dougie Center in 1987 when mm -hmm. I was 12 and my mom died and the most impactful part of the program for me was actually the adult volunteers because I had a lot of well-intentioned adults in my life but these adults really gave me a safe place to express myself and my grief over my mother's death. Yeah. Well, and there's that, and this is one of the goals with the Dougie Center, there's this understanding that when you walk in the building, you're with people who are going through a similar experience, and that takes a, a weight off your shoulders a little bit. You know, a lot of these kids, they don't walk into school going, hey, am I the person that, I love that lost the loved one over this summer or something like that. Absolutely. And and might I add that you know this firsthand because of your volunteer yeah, experience um, at Dougie Center. So thank you for that, yeah, Travis. I mean, it's, a, it's a mission that's very near and dear. You know, if we're speaking bluntly, I lost my dad when I was 11. And uh, my mom almost put us into the Dougie Center, my, my brother and I at the time. But it was we were out in Dundee, so it was a little mm -hmm. far away. Yeah. Um, and then circling back later in life, you know, and as a 32-year-old, it's, it's been great to help out. But yeah, working with those those young kids, you see the impact that the Dougie Center has on them on a daily, on a weekly basis, every other week when they're in there. But you see that impact uh, really play out. Yeah, we hear every day from families about the impact that we're having and about how um, difficult it is and isolating it is to try to navigate these experiences without support and um, what a beautiful thing to bring people together when they've had similar experiences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you know that loss is something that everyone experiences at some point in their life, but to have it happen, especially with an immediate family member when you're young, can be very, very difficult. So uh, what are your, your current volunteer needs and, and how can people help support this mission? Yeah, for those who are interested in volunteering, you do a volunteer training, which is over the course of a, a couple different days over weekends, and then you're assigned to a particular group, a particular day and time, and um, the training itself is often the most kind of intense part of it, mm -hmm. and then uh, it's three and a half hours a week, every other week, and right now our next volunteer training is in January, so this is a great time for people who are interested to check it out, get get their application in for that next training and learn more about what what it takes to be a volunteer, which really is an open heart, a willingness to um, sit with some tough stuff, but also to just hang out with kids. A lot of what we do with kids is art, play, basketball, you know, air hockey, all of those things. Right. Yeah, it's, it, again, I can't say enough about it. It's, it's an awesome mission, a lot of really great people. How can people sign up if they're looking to, to volunteer? They can get online on our website, which is Dougie.org, D-O-U-G-Y dot O-R-G, and can click on the link about volunteering and find out more. 
and we should mention all of the services that the Dougie Center provides for, for kids, for their families, are provided at no cost to them. So yes. how critical uh, are volunteers to, to the work you're able to do? It's huge. I mean, we are a small social service nonprofit that yeah. doesn't charge a fee for our families. About a third of our families are living at or below the federal poverty level, so that's really important to us. And uh, we couldn't do what we do without volunteers because um, it it would be about a third of our program operating budget if we needed wow. to pay folks to do the work that volunteers do. So. Wow. Well, again, it's incredible stuff, and I'm glad you were able to come in and talk about it. Again, the need is so great. Uh, there is a wait list for certain groups out there, so again, those getting those volunteers in will, will help alleviate the wait list for kids and families looking for those spots. Absolutely, and when if families are interested in Dougie Center, even though sometimes there can be a wait for our services, we really encourage folks to reach out because we provide so much support while families are waiting for the perfect group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good reminder. We know the holidays can be tough for folks who are grieving. This is a tough time of year for a lot of reasons, so if you need support, help is out there. Brennan, Absolutely. we appreciate you being here this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, glad that you were here. Again, the Dougie Center located at Southeast 52nd and Francis Street for that Southeast location. Again, multiple locations across the area. To sign up as a volunteer or to learn more about the grief support program, again, that's Dougie.org. Well, it's 8-12 on this Monday morning and coming up next on AMX.